Is YouTube censoring comments? Let's have a look. Good evening everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your hashtag not sponsored cheap coffee and let's have a talk about what's been going on around YouTube in the last well couple of weeks. And what we'll do is we'll just jump here and uh, I will bring up this uh, still from a video I recently recorded. Uh, one looking at the plan to re-educate no voters. Essentially, those of us that voted no, we just must be uneducated morons, uh, at least according to the, well, the person who put forward those opinions in the article that we read through and discussed. Now, naturally, this is going to be a sensitive topic there. You know, and as you can see, the comments are turned off. Now, I didn't turn them off. I don't turn off comments. I have filtering turned on. I block links on the comments, and that's mainly to stop the spam bots. That's why we have to do it, guys, or else we get just so much dodgy, spammy crap that goes on there. And sure, the majority of people are probably going to be fine and won't click on it, but you know, as a, a content creator, you'd feel bad if, if a less experienced viewer accidentally clicked on a comment or a WhatsApp thinking it's from a creator they're watching and get suckered into something. So it's best we just don't worry about that. So I turned them on, I turned them off, I put on pause mode and I turned them back on again and it just didn't work. The comments disappeared. So naturally people were thinking, is this censorship? Is YouTube clamping down on open debate? Is this the Australian eSafety Commissioner you know, saying, no, no, we can't have any discussion about this. Is, is it a conspiracy, a cover-up? Now, I, I've read The Da Vinci Code, and, and I like a good a good conspiracy as much as the next bloke. It's, it's quite entertaining. But sadly, I don't think that's what's happened here. Often, uh, as a content creator, you, you'll see that coincidence can occur many times. And when YouTube rolls out new features you'll find it'll create problems and buggy issues throughout the videos and as you're uh, issuing stuff out. And I think that's what happened here because I've noticed on my iPhone when I'm visiting other channels, uh, they will have you know new features in the comments. So you can see comments by um, channel members, comments by topics. So they're playing around with the comments. They're making changes there. And it could just be this is a contentious topic and just happened to have well been the one that had comments turned off because this has happened, well, with many content creators. And what happens when, you know, a video is, is demonetized or limited or blocked? Well, I've, I've encountered that. I've been doing YouTube for a very long time now. And, you know, my channel was completely removed at one stage. We did a video discussing Mintaby. It's it's up now. And the channel was removed. So you'd have people will strategically try and attack channels, particularly for sensitive topics, particularly for anything to do with Indigenous Australians. Even when you're having a mature, reasonable argument or discussion, they'll just dogpile on it. And YouTube seems to be quite reasonable in addressing these issues. It's gotten a lot better. Now, I've, I'll show you here. We'll go. Let's have a look here. These, these here are limited videos here. This is the back end of YouTube. And you'll see here, this is the yellow limited monetization issue here. And you can see all the different types of videos that have been limited on my channel. And these have been reviewed by the RBA, you know, oh, sorry, not the RBA. I'm just reading this one here. Reviewed by YouTube, usually appealed and then remained as limited. Now, things have changed in the past. And I mean, here you go. Happy International Men's Day a 2018 video was limited. I discussed a whole lot of uh, many men's rights issues uh, back when the channel started. And I still try and discuss uh, International Men's Days. It looks like we're, we're going to have to discuss some men's rights issues again, particularly with where the media is going today in Australia. But these are topics that no advertiser wants anything to do with. Now, it's a proven fact that uh, intimate partner violence is sadly bilateral. And these... These are statistically um, evidence-based arguments that you can make and then you can you know, put a case forward. Why aren't there any facilities for men, tr men trying to flee these situations? But no advertiser wants to be involved. 
So YouTube will limit that. There's no, they're going to limit the exposure of it. They're going to limit their ad revenue. Now, the video, this guy here, the plan to reeducate no voters, it had no limitations on it, no restrictions, no age, age restrictions on it, no country restrictions on it, no copyright claims on it. It had nothing. None of these things kicked in for that at all. So that, that's where I'm saying it, it really feels like a coincidence more than a diabolical conspiracy on the behalf of YouTube. And, and I mean, a lot of these topics here that, that really, uh, you know, share market continues to crash. I don't know why that one was limited. Um, businesses leaving Portland, oh, it was, you know, I think violent images there, Australian freedom protests there, it was limited. You can see here just, just how, considering how many videos I've done, this is a tiny amount. Just a tiny amount, and you just have to cop it there. You know, responding to property investor hate mail. <laughs> I don't even remember that one. What was that? 2020, oh yeah, when you get, I think, death threats I've received from people. It's crazy. Uh, so yes, everyone, let's have a bit of a chat, eh? Finish off with that. Oh, see, I take I take a week off and I can't remember what buttons to push. It all falls apart. So that's my argument here, that the recent wave of comments being removed from videos, you could turn keep turning them back on, but they never stuck, is merely a coincidence with YouTube rolling out other changes to the platform because they haven't restricted anything, they haven't limited anything, nothing's changed. We haven't received any correspondence from the government, from the e-safety commissioner, nothing like that. So I think that's really what's going on. So yeah, guys, sorry. Not everything can be an exciting conspiracy theory. Sometimes life is pretty vanilla. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.